In our health alert tonight, maybe time to cancel that cold brew. After decades of conflicting information over whether coffee is good or bad for you, your morning cup of joe may now come with a cancer warning. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joins us now to explain. Say it's not so, Doc. Wow. Uh, Dave is uh, upset at me. So if you're anything <laughs> like me and Dave, you love a cup of uh, coffee in the morning. But a recent California lawsuit is raising concern that the process involved in making it could potentially be harmful to our health. So a nonprofit group pushing for transparency on toxic chemicals has sued some of the nation's largest coffee makers. At issue is a chemical called acrylamide, which is known to cause cancer in rats and mice at very high doses. So what is acrylamide? So Glenda, it really sounds scary to me and, uh, and I think everybody else who's listening, but it's actually a chemical that's not found just in coffee, but it's also in things like potatoes, canned black olives, prune juice, and baked goods like bread and cookies. It's in some food packaging and is a component of cigarette smoke as well. In 2002, the International Agency for Research on Cancer classified acrylamide as a carcinogen or, or a cancer-causing agent because of the studies showing its cancer uh, effects in animals. However, studies in humans have have been mixed. So is this something we should all be worried about right now, especially those of us that uh, enjoy one, two, three, or more cups of coffee a day? I, th I, think, I think you don't have to worry yet, uh, Dave, but a research review done four years ago found that there was no significant association between eating foods containing acrylamide and various cancers. The FDA still says it's gathering more information, but also released a statement giving consumers suggestions for cutting the chemicals out of your diet. So I wouldn't be surprised to hear more about this issue in the near future. All right, let's talk prescriptions, Doc. What can we do to make sure our cup of joe is safe? Absolutely, Glenda. So here, here are my uh, you know, prescriptions. It's wise to read the FDA guidance on acrylamide and follow the agency's advice on how to remove extra amounts from your diet. First, look for coffee products that don't contain this chemical. Although they're few and far in between, they do exist. You can go online and find them. Also, avoid eating anything that's been burnt black. Burned food like coffee has been known to create carcinogenic chemicals. Also, if you're still worried about the health effects of acrylamide, consider doing something amazing, Dave. Change to tea instead of coffee if you're worried. And so really something to consider, and I'll be updating you on any developments as soon as they happen. That one's not set. I, I drink some tea, but it's, it's just not the same. I, I gotta, you gotta tell you. Expand your horizons, my friend. All, All right. right, Dr. Nandy, thank you so much. <laughs> and if you have a question or health concern for the good doctor, you can email him at drnandy at wxyz.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. We'll be right back.